What is up agents? This is Wrecker, back with another build. Now I have been testing this build out since a few weeks now to make sure it is solid on all ends because it is essential that we have the damage, enough survivability and protection from elites at the same time. Reason being because I specifically put this build together for Legendary Turtle Basin and Manning National Zoo. As the other two, uh, District Union Arena and Capital Building are quite easy to do at this point in my personal opinion. But Tidal Basin and Manning Zoo can be quite difficult to do if you don't have the right build and especially if you're not an experienced player. So specifically the final boss encounters for both missions, they can be quite hard to beat for sure. So being that said, let's get into the build breakdown and see what we're running. So for the specialization, I have chosen to go with Survivalist, a few very good reasons actually. First of them being the 10% protection from elites because I wanted to get close to the cap for protection from elites as much as possible. So that's one reason. The second one is the armor kit that heals your allies too if you're close enough with them. So yeah, just pop a med kit and any ally in the cross proximity will get the same armor kit as you. And the third reason being is the secondary that I'm running, I'm running the lefty for the perfect sledgehammer and uh, the grenades we get, the fire grenades from this spec actually have a huge uh, duration and range so that's very essential. So these are the main reasons I'm running survivalist but if you are willing to let go of 10% protection from elites which I would not recommend you can run any other spec that you prefer but yeah this is what I'm running. So for the weapons, primarily I'm running the St. Elmo's engine. Mine is fully maxed out as you can see, plus 25% weapon damage with damage to targets out of cover as a third attribute. So yes, your numbers may vary if you do not have it maxed out, but then I don't think it should matter that much, but it definitely helps if you have enough additional damage from the expertise. But yeah, this is very essential because this gun not only has the accuracy and the damage but also the mods that's that's gonna get you up to that uh cap crit hit chance and crit hit damage numbers so i would highly recommend running this weapon for the secondary as i mentioned earlier i'm running the lefty uh specifically for the perfect sledgehammer because it does help out your teammates a lot by debuffing the enemies every now and then so yeah these are the two weapons we are running on the setup Starting off with the gear pieces, we are running the Striker's gear set 4 piece including the chest and the backpack. Yes, this is very essential because I know it's kind of boring running Strikers in every other build but then again, this is the only way I have found personally where you can stack armor on your setup but still get enough damage from the talent itself for the gear set uh, to gain uh, more than 1 million crits in this setup you will be easily able to hit 1 million crits on full stacks even though we are stacking a bunch of armor on the setup so yeah uh, the two piece weapon handling 15 percent and three piece 15 percent rate of fire and the four piece everyone knows what it does we are basically gaining one percent weapon damage on 100 stacks now then again we are running the chest in the backpack that's going to double our stack numbers and also the damage that we are getting on each stack so that's 100% and then also 100 stacks for the attributes this will be the same theme for most of the pieces we are running armor I'm basically running four blues and two reds but that's my personal preference you can change up the numbers where well, yeah, I'm running armor could hit damage and a protection from elites mod in the mod cloth this is very essential okay especially if you are not running the survival spec you should definitely run as much mods as possible because we need to get to that 80 percent cap uh you know as much as possible for me personally on this set i'm running 74 percent but i feel like that's more than enough but yeah this is what i have for the backpack as i mentioned earlier we are running the gear set backpack and same attributes weapon damage crit hit chance and a protection from elite mod same attributes for the gloves armor and a critical hit chance now keep in mind we have to get close to that cap for the critical hit chance first and then stack into critical hit damage wherever we can so doesn't matter what you have on your gear pieces you can swap attributes from one piece to another so critical hit chance and critical hit damage doesn't matter just reach to that cap and then start stacking into good damage here and then lastly for the gear set holster we are running strikers again two reds weapon damage and a critical hit damage minor attribute 
Now for the mask, I have chosen to go with the chill out named Max from Yellowguard because it does gives us two mod slots so we can stack even more protection from elites. That's the only reason, but also it's giving us 5% more total armor. That also helps, but not that uh, necessary. But then again, uh, it's still helpful. So yeah, for the attributes, we're running armor, critical hit damage, and two protection from elites mode. Then, then again, if you are not running survival ish you're gonna low those numbers especially if you don't have maxed out modes like me i believe i have four of them 13 percent and the other ones are 12 percent but yeah try to stack as much as possible for the protection from elites attribute and the very last piece for the setup here is the improvised knee pads because yes we do need an additional slot here for another protection from elites mod same attributes armor critical hit damage and a critical hit chance in the minor attribute so for the skills, primarily I'm running the shield, uh, the crusader shield, because that's very very central. You have to run this because you are gonna have to cut corners and uh, shoot the enemies from a range and uh, any cover that you have at your disposal. So this is very essential for the most I'm running shield health on two of them and uh, holster regen on the third one. For the second skill, it's clearly personal preference, for, but for me, I personally uh, like to run this uh, assault turret because it does occupy enemies and their attention you know it does keep aggro for the enemies so this is very very good uh, as per my, my playstyle you know but you can run any other skill that you prefer like a decoy or maybe a reviver hive that's on you but I personally run the assault turret the mods that I'm running is uh, duration damage and also duration on the third one now to show you the stats real quick for the entire build, we are sitting at 86k weapon damage on our St. Elmo's, 48% critical hit chance and 113 critical hit damage. These are really good numbers considering we are running a bunch of blues and I can assure you as you will see in the gameplay as well that you will be easily able to melt down enemies even with a group scaled up to four people uh because i have been running this build in the group setting i haven't tried it in solo but i can you know confidently say that it should perform just as well in uh, solo play but yeah i've been running in a fully four scale group in tidal basin and manning zoo and uh, you can easily hit one million crits on full stacks for strikers but yeah, 75% headshot damage, 21% health damage, but uh, 20, I'm sorry, 10% uh, damage targets out of cover on our St. Elmo's, that's not listed here. But let me show you the defense stat real quick, 1.5 million armor, but also we have 74% protection from elites. This is very essential, especially when you are doing the boss phases for both the missions, Tidal Basin and Manning Zoo. Especially Tidal Basin because you're gonna have to run out and take out those uh, turrets, all three of them. And in that phase, you are gonna need protection from elites because there will be a bunch of them, especially if you're running in a four-man group. Uh, this is very, very helpful because they can, you know, barely tickle you while you are taking out the turrets. So that's very essential. It will keep you up. But yeah, again, I'm only able to get to this number 74% with the most that I have and also using the survivalist spec. So keep that in mind. So yeah, this is the full build everyone. We are running the survivalist spec. St. Elmo's are primary, the lefty as the secondary. The sidearm doesn't really matter. I like to use my uh, perfect finisher pistol here. That's very handy if you want to gain even more crit numbers. But yeah. As for the gear pieces, we are running 4-piece striker, including the chest and the backpack. For the mask, we are running the chill out named mask to have two additional mod slots. And for the knee pads, we are running the improvised holster you can easily craft. I am personally running four blues and two reds, but then again, as I mentioned earlier, you can change up the numbers as per your playstyle. For the skills, we are running the Crusader Shield and the Soul Turret, but then again, that's also personal preference. But yeah, that's pretty much it actually. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comment section below. Personally, this build has not failed me in two of the legendary missions specifically, because the other two, I personally feel they are pretty easy to do, especially the Stricuning Arena. That's a very, very, I feel like that's the most easiest mission to do in legendary difficulty. So 
uh, we are not going for that because you can do that without any protection from elites. It's very easy to do. But for Tidal Basin and Manning Zoo, you are going to need some protection and some armor for sure but also damage. And this build does achieve that. Easily, 1 million crits, you have enough survivability and protection from elites to run around. So yeah, I don't think I missed anything, but if I did, let me know in the comment section below. Try it out and let me know what you guys think about it. I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya.